Hello pros, my name is Tia Young. I'm the owner of Tia Young Image and Etiquette in the Tampa, Florida area. I serve as the National Certification Director of NAUP. And I would like to thank you for joining us for day three of the NAUP Virtual Etiquette Conference. Now, we'll be talking about polishing your consultant image. You know, as consultants, we're held to a higher standard. We must represent what we teach and we must lead by example and look the part as well. So I'll be covering attire, professional attire for etiquette consultants, uh, accessories, shoes, and then how you carry yourself as well. It's so, so very important, as I said, as etiquette consultants to represent what we actually teach. We wanna look like what we teach. So let's get started. As you see, I have a lot of different examples here. It's my style, I'm a little bit older. So these are the things that I normally like to wear. Solid colors normally are best for me. And if it's um, a print, it's not much of a print, just a little bit uh, of a design there. But I have, if you do a solid color, this is actually a jacket and a dress underneath. And then the, actually a blue necklace as well to kind of jazz it up a little bit with a uh, button there that is a pearl button. But as you see, a suit dress. And I tend to like those. Now today I, I'm wearing black. Black is always very good to wear uh, with your pearls and your pearl earrings and black or neutral color shoes as well. So that's one example there for you. Another example would be, this is a two-tone dress here, black and white, and I put a nice, I like sparkle as you can see, and a nice sparkly necklace there in black. And you can wear neutral or black shoes with this particular dress. Um, you can also put a black jacket on because it's sleeveless. Uh, so that would be a great accessory for that. And you see here, hot pink, but if you look close, you see it's a print there. But overall, it looks like a solid color, and I added a long necklace. I do like longer necklace because I am tall, 5'8", and then bracelets as well, and then earrings that might match. Um, gold and silver earrings are normally best. Pearl, gold, silver, or um, pearl uh, tones that are uh, the royal colors, red, green, blue, those are always best. This green dress here is one of my lucky green dress. I actually wore this for my TED Talk that was just released uh, just a couple uh, last week. And uh, you notice this dress. I normally didn't, I didn't add any accessories because it has a bow. And then I wore some pearl earrings with it and a watch and I think maybe a bracelet, but just very simple, just kind of flare at the bottom. Very simple, and you really don't need a necklace because because I think it has the bow. Now you probably might be able to put a pin there or something, but keeping it simple is normally always best. Jewel tones, that's what I was looking for, the word red, red. This is a beautiful dress here, and I just added a nice long, long necklace with a jewel at the end, a diamond style uh, drop um, stone there but you don't need very much. And then maybe some diamond stud earrings with this type of dress. And you notice here on the mannequin as well, this is a red suit here. You always wanna have a nice little tank underneath to wear that's a nice elegant. I put pearls with that. And then a little pin, my Nayu pin, my etiquette pin there with pearls in it and the diamond uh, stud stones there. But very classy red with a little, a, a little skirt and then this is a little fascinator. I just added that on top, just some color, but that, you know, we love our little uh, little fascinators at times because it really goes with the dress I have on even better. And it's always very cute for a nice little tee. So that little fascinator is always cute, isn't it? All right. Had here kind of the decorations. It probably wouldn't go with this one as well because it's not uh, black and white. 
Now this is a simple gray dress. The tones that I normally tend to uh, gravitate to for business are the, the, the black, the navy, the grays. Um, but then you can add a touch of color. You see that little flower there? It's just a pin-on flower. Or if you didn't have that flower, just a little simple necklace to add to it and some nice matching earrings to that to add a little color there. For this, neutral color shoes normally will be best. I'll show you the shoes in just a second. And I love a suit, a jacket and a dress, that classic piping white and the white buttons there. And this is a dress, but a skirt, uh, matching skirt will match as well. And then if you had a need of a tank, a white tank underneath, and I just added a little white rose there. And it's like a clip-on rose. So very easy to remove, but it added a nice little touch there, didn't it? So you can always add little touches like that. And then pearls go with everything. You can always get away with wearing pearls. Another classic. There's a skirt underneath here, but you see how that scarf just added just so much color to that basic jacket? I love the, the, the big gold buttons. That's just my style. But just adding that color there around the neck. And then it has a matching skirt that's here underneath. Uh, just classic, never go out of style, black suit. And then added that color with that scarf. Another black jacket here that you go with black slacks. Very simple. And this one has a zipper, so you can add a tank underneath. And then it has a cute little detail in the back. So just elegant, but adding that little touch of class there. With some black slacks. You can have black, white, or any color, actually, or even a dress underneath. And when you want to go a little bit more fancy, but still be classy. This is a gold, but this is the style that kind of goes to the knee that has that little swag in the back. So your arms are out here, but it connects all the way in the back here. There. It's really, really cute on. And I, keep, I haven't worn this yet, but I look forward to wearing it. It's a nice, and you really don't need much because that shine of the gold does a lot. So maybe some nice gold earrings that are long and you probably wouldn't need a necklace, but even when you get dressed up, you still want to be classy. And then sometimes just a nice blouse, a nice beautiful blouse there. Then you can wear some nice slacks and a nice belt and pumps. And for the pumps, neutral will go with everything. The neutral color shoe will go with everything. And the black shoe, We'll go with everything. So always keep a nice pair. Now I like high heels. You see that's pretty high. Nice pair of black and neutral color shoes and the matching purse as well. So my neutral shoes, I have my neutral purse as well. Put that together. Always kind of want to go together. And then for the black, if you're somewhere a little bit dressier, you have a clutch. You want to hold that clutch down right there. It's kind of hard to maneuver when it's right there under your arm. So you want to hold it in your hand, the clutch there. Let's go with the black shoes or the regular handbag. There. Let's go with the black shoes. Long. I tend to wear mine shorter than the long. I wore it long right there but always classy nothing too busy so these are the styles that I particularly like and color it depends on what you like what looks good with your skin tone like I say jewel tones are always very very nice solid colors are nice but black, gray, and navy are professional. I'm a former flight attendant, so we had to wear navy blue. It was the uniform color, and we looked very polished and poised in that uniform color. So as an uh, etiquette consultant, you wanna always look poised and polished 
as well. The fit is very important. Not only the color that looks best on you and the jewel tones, but the fit. You know, we always go, well, I know I do, <laughs> go up and down in size all the time. And right now I just finished dinner, my husband and I, <laughs> and I feel like I ate a little too much. But when you have your closet full of clothes and you're looking for something to wear, wear what fits now and not what you're going to think you can squeeze into. Oh, I'll lose a couple pounds and wear for that event coming up this weekend. No, wear what fits and is comfortable right now because you're going to be uncomfortable wearing something that's a little too tight. You're going to be pulling on it too much and it's not going to make you feel confident. So even if it's a size a little higher than you normally wear, because in my closet, I have several sizes, the, the, the larger sizes, the regular size and the sizes I'm trying to get into, right? We all have those sizes in our closet and some that we're never going to get back into. We might as well just go ahead and donate, <laughs> but wear the clothes that fit you properly now. Also, undergarments are very, very important. We don't want to see bra straps. We don't want to see when you have on sleeveless, when you put your arm up, you have to be very careful because then they'll see under your arm. They might see, uh, under the dress or your uh, your bra or your um, Spanx or whatever it may be. I always wear control Spanx. It just smooths everything out. No matter if I feel like I'm slim at that time in my smaller size, I still wanna want something that looks like it's very smooth and there's no cutting in any spots, you know? Cause sometimes you have the bulges here and there, but those Spanx, I do the one piece kind um, that comes from all the way from the shoulder down and it um, makes everything nice and smooth. Another thing we wanna think about before we even put on our clothes, grooming. We wanna make sure your hygiene is up to par because if you don't have fresh breath, you don't smell your best, people won't hear you because they're going, what is that smell? So you wanna always make sure your grooming is on point. Perfume, don't put on too much. One little spritz will do because if you put on too much, it's gonna to be too strong for people around you when you're in person. Now, a lot of things right now are on Zoom, but everything is opening back up now and in person a lot more than it was in the, in the beginning stages of the COVID pandemic. So we have to make sure we deodorize, get that lotion on, get that little bit of perfume on, but don't overdo it. So that's very, very important as well um, when we're going in front of people. And make sure you remember, as soon as you get to your event, it, to speak to a group, they're already watching you as soon as you jump out of your car and getting your things out of your trunk and walking up to the building. They might be, it might be a window right there that they can see everything that you're doing. So don't wait till you get to the door to put on your best behavior and look poised. As soon as you get out of that car, you want to look poised as you're doing everything you need to do to get inside that building. Keep that in mind. They're going to be watching you as if it's a stage and the curtain's already open. They're going to see you. Don't wait till you get and turn forward. Make sure you're on your best behavior the whole time. Also hair. I like to wear curly style hair and it's very easy to manage. Uh, wet it a little bit, put a little conditioner on and I'm ready to go. So that's very, very easy for me, uh, just keeping it well groomed and neat and not too dry. Also, makeup, not too much, not too little. You wanna be conservative, but you still wanna be glamorous as well. I like a little bit of lash, a little bit of eyebrow, lipstick, but not overly done. It wants You want it to be classy at all times. And then also your nails. I like more of a neutral. Um, you can see a little bit of sparkle in there because I like a little sparkle every now and then. But French is normally best. Your nails and toes, if you break a nail, get it fixed or take them all off and polish them. You don't want a couple broken or a couple chipped. No, you want to look polished and well put together. All on or all off, even toenails. But notice, I didn't show any shoes that had the toes out. Professionally, I like shoes that have a closed toe and a closed heel. Um, when you start getting into the sandals and the high heel sandals, it's not as professional as a pump would be. 
Now, depending on where it might be, it might be okay to wear a little bit of toe out, but that takes it more on the semi-formal end, but you, you're a professional, so you wanna be a little bit more classy uh, in that area. So we talked about hygiene, hair, nails, and makeup, fit and color. Now accessories, the shoes and the jewelry. Keep it simple, the pearl, the gold, the silver, and the jewel tones normally are best. You don't wanna wear bracelets. I have on a bracelet that's, um, you might hear it a little bit, but it's not the bangles that every time you move, you hear them uh, moving up and down. You don't wanna distract your uh, attendees with that extra sound because they will hear it and it will be distracting for them so wear a bracelet that's more fitted or a cuff that won't be that jangle even the earrings so you don't want them to be too big and too jangly that's distract distracting from your attendees tattoos and piercings some people wonder is it okay is it not what i say if you like it wear it tattoos piercing but for me, I think it takes away from professionalism. When I was a flight attendant uh, years ago, if you had a tattoo that anywhere that would show outside of the uniform that didn't cover, you had to cover it up with makeup or a Band-Aid. So they made you cover it up because in their eyes, it wasn't professional. I don't have any, but I don't um, look down on anyone that does have a tattoo, but if you do have one or you do get one, try to get it in a location that when you dress professionally, it won't show. Um, so if you have it on your leg or calf, you might have to wear slacks or a dress that comes a little bit lower to cover that or cover it up with makeup. Um, but Because you don't want to take away from your money because people not, might not feel that that's professional for them, so you might not get hired. So you don't want to take money out of your pocket, by the way, by, by a tattoo that you've received. So think about all those things because all that goes together for being a professional etiquette consultant and the way you carry yourself. Now, also remember your behavior and that's in person and online, on social media. How do you represent yourself? How do people see you? If they were to describe you in one word, what would they say? If it's not poised, classy, amazing, all those things, phenomenal woman, <laughs> and you hear some negative things, that's fine. You just start working on those things to get better. Start doing those negative things less. Remember, people are always watching, and they want to work with someone that uh, represents who they want to be. So always try to be that person. Now, we're not all perfect, of course. And we're always gonna have days that are not as good as others, but always try to do your best. I hope you've learned a few things about professional etiquette and image and being polished. And we hope that you were able to tune in for Victoria's Tablescapes and Tanja's workshop on how to use props to engage students. Or maybe you're able to learn all about becoming a polished etiquette professional during my session. I hope you enjoyed the workshops and we hope you were empowered. We invite you to tune in tomorrow to learn how to use credit to help build your business capital. Again, on behalf of Nayu and its founder, Lady Trinette, I am Tia Young and we thank you for joining us. See you next time.